When you imagine a giant bird, you might think about an eagle or maybe an ostrich. Or maybe some people might think about ancient birds that lived alongside the dinosaurs. But you have to know, none of these birds are the largest bird in history. If we want to get to know the largest bird in history, you have to go back to around 7 million years ago in modern day Argentina and meet the bird called Argentavis. Argentavis is a 100 kilogram bird and when it stands on its two feet, it would probably be around six feet tall. So if a six foot man would stand right next to it, they could look each other in the eyes. And something that's even more insane is that when it opened its wings, it would have a six meter wingspan. And this was very much needed to move this extremely heavy weight. Six meters is not the longest wingspan for a bird because we had an ancient bird called Paleogornis that had a wingspan of seven meters, but it was much skinnier and the bird was overall smaller but Argentavis was massive in every way possible. Scientists say that Argentavis is pretty much an ancient vulture and the closest family in terms of DNA to the Argentavis is the modern day vultures we have today. They know a lot about Argentavis but they don't truly know how it looked like and that's why whenever they draw it, they always make it look like a vulture. You have to know, the biggest vultures today are found in the Andes Mountains, the long mountain range that's basically in the middle of the Chilean and Argentinian borders. And the Andean condor lives right there. Andean condor is the biggest vulture and it's truly massive. But you have to know that Argentavis was more than twice the size of it. Vultures are pretty much the most useful bird in history and you could kind of call them the vacuum cleaners of nature. Without them, we truly lack in the nature department. There are vultures that not only do they eat flesh, but they also hunt. The Andes condor also likes to hunt, and this is the closest family member to the Argentavis. That is why scientists believe that the Argentavis would hunt as well. The Andes condor likes to hunt things like rats, mice, and rabbits, pretty much things that are considered pests in most of the world. So in a way, it is cleaning up the ecosystem. But some like to question, what would the Argentavis hunt? There are some speculations that Argentavis could probably hunt dog-sized animals, probably ancient wolves. Right now, the biggest birds that are able to fly are vultures. The vulture flies in a different way than other birds. They're basically coasting most of the time and they need these massive wings to catch the air and keep them airborne without them trying. And scientists like to think that Argentavis had such a massive wing that it would stay in the air much longer than any other bird, even though it weighed damn near 100 kilograms. If you've seen our video about vultures, you'll know that whenever it's flying, it's never looking forward. It's always looking down to scan the ground and that's why they always hit wind turbines. When you see vultures circle in an area, it doesn't mean there's a dead animal down there. It usually means they're actually taking a break. But while they're taking a break, they're always scanning the ground just in case. And that is one of the reasons they need massive wings compared to other birds. But throughout Argentavis' lifetime, it grew so massive that it would actually hurt it rather than help because feeding itself that much food was extremely difficult. And this is one of the reasons they say that it went extinct. The Argentavis went extinct about 5 million years ago. They died out and the stronger ones started to fade out and get smaller and smaller. And that's why they have a common family member, which are different types of vultures in South America. Finding fossils of birds is much more difficult than finding fossils for land animals, which are heavier. The reason for that is the bones of a bird is much lighter, it's much more brittle and thinner, and they also have nothing inside them, so they can get ruined easily. And this is why saying Argentavis is the biggest bird in history is a push, because there could have been a larger bird, 
but the fossils got destroyed just because they were so thin and we don't have them anymore and it's pretty much lost in history. But only 7 million years ago this massive bird used to live and now we think this is the biggest one. Research has showed scientists that the Argentavis would not live in flat land. It would actually live in a mountain range and that's why it was found in Argentina. It was too heavy to lift off from flat ground like an airplane. It would have to need a massive ledge and basically free dive until it gets flying. But once it got flying, it was good to go. It could get close to the ground and then fly up once again. Just the takeoff was difficult. The Andes condor is pretty much the same thing even though it's much smaller. It likes to hop off mountain ranges rather than lift off on a flat surface. When you examine the leg muscle of the Argentavis, you realize that it's much more massive than any other bird. And that makes scientists think that this bird would walk on land for a long period of time and hunt on the ground just because how thick and strong the legs are. Nowadays the only problem that faces vultures is a lack of food. While vultures only need 200 grams worth of meat to satisfy them and not starve, the Argentavis would need 5 kilograms worth of food. And that's the exact reason why a massive body like this could not last long in nature. You might think that these massive wings would allow the Argentavis to fly extremely fast. But it was the opposite because these wings were engineered in a way to coast rather than go fast. And that's why it couldn't go faster than 40 kilometers an hour. And this is in a way where a bald eagle could go as fast as 160 kilometers an hour. When you look at Earth's history, you see that these animals, so they can survive longer, they got bigger and bigger. But that ended up shooting themselves in the foot and that caused their extinction in the end. The bigger one went extinct and the smaller ones remained.